Hi friends, welcome to Preschool Parade. My name is Miss Heidi and I'm from the Miller Branch of the Howard County Library System. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Sylvia. I'm also from the Miller Branch of the Howard County Library System. And today we're going to be having fun with colors. So I hope you're ready and excited to talk about colors today. But we're gonna start out with a very good song called Open, Shut Them, just so you get ready to listen. Are you ready, Miss Sylvia? I'm ready. Here we go, let's open, get ready. Okay, open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Good Should we do job. it one more time? One more time, Miss Sylvia, one yes. One more time, okay. So one more time, here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Awesome. Oh, that's perfect. Now everyone's hands are where they should be so they can listen. Okay, next. We have a little poem that I'm calling Five Colored Pencils, but I really did find it on the internet and it was called Five Little Crayons by Angela Thayer. And I just adapted it a little bit to fit my five colored pencils. So let's look at the colors. Yellow, blue, orange, red, and green. And part of this story might have Miss Sylvia drawing some pictures to go along with this poem. Yes. And if you have paper and crayons next to you or even just a pencil, you can draw along with us. Right, Miss Sylvia? That's right. So and she I has the same colors. Yep. So here we go. Are you ready, Miss Sylvia? I am ready. Okay. So five colored pencils, they colored a scene. Yellow, blue, orange, red, and green. <gasps> Look, said Yellow, my sun is bright. Oh, here comes a very bright sun from Miss Sylvia. A bright yellow sun. Oh, that's beautiful. The yellow sun is bright. <gasps> Blue said, that's great. My river will be just right. Oh, the blue is coming with a river. Look at that, a just right river by blue. Thank you, Miss Sylvia. Orange said, flowers? I think I'll draw one for you. See about the orange flower. Ooh, there it is next to the river. Beautiful. Red said, wow, I think I'll draw one too. Here comes another red flower. Beautiful. Oh, sigh said green, I'm tired of trees and grass and bushes and tiny leaves. I think I'll draw a big green cloud. The other said, yes, a green cloud is allowed. Look at that, a nice green cloud in the sky. All the pencils smiled and didn't think twice. They thought the whole picture looked very, very nice. And so do I, Miss Sylvia. Oh, thank you. It's a beautiful you. picture. So we have a bright, Yellow sun, there's the sun. A blue river, an orange flower, and a red flower, and a green cloud. Because you know what, Miss Sylvia, when it's your picture, you can make anything, any color you want, right? That's right. Like that. Thank That's you, right. boys and girls. Nice job with that poem. Awesome. That was so fun to color while you were sharing that poem with us, Miss Heidi. Okay, I like that activity. We are going to do some color mixing. Before I do that, I wanted to show you this really, really, really fun rainbow. That Ooh, Miss Sylvia, look at that. 
colors. And I love it because it has so many different colors. I see red and orange and yellow, green and blue, and it's so colorful. I it love it. It's very colorful. And that's so fun to draw with all the colors too, Miss Sylvia. That's right. So so did, yeah, Miss Heidi, did you know that there are three primary colors that make all the other colors? One, two, three colors? Three. Ooh, what are they? Red, yellow, and blue. Red, so, yellow, and blue. Yeah, Miss Heidi has them also. Perfect. So we could do a little color mixing with them and see what happens when we mix them together. What do you think? I would okay. love to see that because I don't know if that really happens, Miss Sylvia. Does it? We'll have to see. We'll find out. So oh my goodness. First thing we will do is I have my big paper here again. And I have my paint brushes to help me. I'm going to start by making a big red here. Which color should we mix with red first, Miss Heidi? What are you thinking? Well, here are my three colors. Let's try yellow. Can okay. we do yellow first? So red and yellow. Okay. So I'm going to take a bit of yellow here and see what happens when we mix in some red. Oh, it's changing color. It is. I'm going to add a little yellow, a little more yellow to it and see. I'm going to try that while you're doing that too, Miss Sylvia. I'm going to add yellow to my red. Okay. Let's see if you get something. There's a little bit more red. Oh, it is changing colors too, Miss Sylvia. <gasps> Orange. orange. Yeah, I'm getting a little orange also. Yours is becoming even more orange. I like that. <laughs> Look, my red together with yellow became more orange. And so did Miss Sylvia. Yeah. So oh my, my red is yellow made orange also. Well, what happens if you make the red with blue? I don't oh. see it blue in there yet. Let's see. So I'm going to add my blue here. Here's my blue. Here's my red pencil. I'm going to see what happens with my red pencil. I hope you're trying this at home, boys and girls, with crayons. Yeah. All right, I'm put red it down here. I'm only going to start with a little blue because I want to see if it changes it, if something happens. Okay. I'm going to try it with my pencil, too, while you're trying it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It is changing. <gasps> you have a beautiful purple, Miss Sylvia. I do. I love that. Mine mixed a little bit. You can see some purple in there. I can. Oh, I love how that did that. That is so cool. So my red and yellow made the orange, and yeah. my red and blue made the purple. Look at that. All right, but here's still yellow. Still you didn't yellow. Mix yellow with blue yet. Yellow with okay. blue, right, Miss Sylvia? That's right. Let's try it. So we have our blue. I'm gonna put this down here at the bottom. So There's my yellow. Let's see what happens when I mixed it with blue too. And Miss Sylvia is doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. You are already are getting a good is that green? It did, it happened it right did. away. Look at mine, Miss Sylvia, too. Wow, that looks awesome. That looks Even good. With something different than paint, boys and girls. Yeah. So red and yellow made orange, right, Miss Sylvia? Red and yellow made orange. And then we and did red yellow, and blue and red for purple. And blue made the purple over here. And the, the last and then one we yellow did. Yellow and red or blue made the green. Yellow and blue made oh, the green. Oh, goodness. Whoa. That was so much fun. I bet we can make even so more colors. That was three colors. And then we went to three more colors, right, Miss Sylvia? That's right. Like one, two, three, four, five, six colors. Six colors. Wow. That is so awesome. Now, boys and girls, if you enjoyed that, I have a secret for you because there is a book that you could read that talks more about color mixing. And the title of it is Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. And you see these little mice? They do some color mixing in the story. So that would be a great story to check out if you're interested. That was so Ms. much. Sylvia, 
so much fun, and those mice have so much fun in that story, too, and they get colored with paint everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Sounds like a mess, but sounds like fun. Okay. So next up, we're going to do a movement break. Yes. yes. We need to move and get some energy out, right? Yes. So this break, it's the song is called If You Like the Color, and it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, and we are borrowing some of our movements from this story, from Head to Toe by Eric Carl. In this story, the animals do different movements, so we're going to use them for our movement breaks. All right. Perfect. Here we go. Are you ready, Miss Heidi? We're going to help you. Get ready. What color are you doing first? First, we do the color red. Red. If you like the color red, clap your hands. If you like the color red, clap your hands. If you like the color red, if you like the color red, if you like the color red, clap your hands. That is great. Our next color is the color yellow. Ta-da! And we're going to thump our chest like a gorilla. Are you ready? If you like the color yellow, thump your chest. If you like the color yellow, thump your chest. If you like the color yellow, if you like the color yellow, if you like the color yellow, thump your chest. Yes, good one. That was fun. All right, it's our next color. Our next color is blue. Blue. Yes. There it is. This time we're gonna wriggle our hips. So, if you get ready, you color blue. Get ready. Here we go. If you like the color blue, wriggle your hips. If you like the color blue, wriggle your hips. If you like the color blue, if you like the color blue, if you like the color blue, wriggle your hips. Oh, that was fun. Oh, that's a good break, Miss Sylvia. Yeah. But we have one more, boys and girls. And this is the color orange. Orange. There it is. <gasps> what makes orange, Miss Sylvia? Red and yellow. Okay, we are going to wave our arms. Here we go. If you like the color orange, wave your arms. If you like the color orange, wave your arms. If you like the color orange, if you like the color orange, if you like the color orange, wave your arms. Yeah! Yay! Nice so fun, job, everyone. I hope you're feeling more relaxed that you got to move because we have another activity for you. And it's a craft that you can do at home. And it's actually making a long chain with a lot of different colors in it. And we're going to talk to you about how to make it, but let's look at the colors first. Here we go. We have brown, red, yellow, blue, green, purple, white, black and orange. Whoops, can you see all those colors in there? Yeah. It gets very long. Look at that chain. I love it. Super now, Miss Heidi, I use construction paper to make this, but if you don't have construction paper at home, what else can you do, Miss Sylvia? So what I did was I took one piece of paper and I used my markers to color strips across, and then you can cut them out individually. And then you'll have little strips that look like this that Miss Heidi's going to show us how we can add to make our chain also. Okay, so I started my chain with the color brown. So here's my brown hoop. But don't make the hoops first. You have to leave them straight after you cut them out and then put them through each one as you go, just like this. And then you get a piece of tape or a stapler and you tape it together and now you have part of the chain oh and then you keep going all the way down until you have as many colors as you want on there some people make these for days of the week some for how many days do you have until school starts or until summer vacation whatever you want to do you can do it with you and can I tell you something I like to use them for? I have a secret. Yes, go ahead. I like to make them for party decorations. 
Yes, like what you have behind you. That would look so pretty decorated and hanging somewhere, Miss Sylvia. And I also have another secret. Oh, what is it? These colors that I used match the colors in one of my favorite books. Yes, what is it? It is Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What do you see? This yes. is by Bill Martin Jr. with pictures by Eric Carl. And all the colors in the book match the animals. So once you make this, if you want to, you'll be able to tell the whole story yourself. Starting so with the brown cool. bear. Wasn't that so cool? That I is so that. cool. Yeah. All right. Well, before we go, we have one more movement we're going to do. We'll do some head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And I'll sing it one time, and then Miss Heidi will sing it before we say goodbye. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready, Miss Sylvia. And this matches that book head to toe, too. Right yeah. Here. Some more movements. That's right. Okay, Great. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Oh, that's great. One more time, everyone. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and the mouth and the nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Wow, Miss Sylvia, I learned so much about colors as well as getting to move around a lot. It was wonderful. Yes, we had such a wonderful, fun time today with our preschool parade and had so much fun with colors today. We're so happy you were able to join us and we can't wait to see you next time. So thanks for coming. We'll see you thanks next Thanks so much. Bye everyone. Bye.